Hi everybody, this is Scott Sad. I wasn't planning on doing another Sad Truth, but once you come after the honey badger, all bets are off. You might remember that uh, probably around a year ago, I had a cardiologist on my show. His name is Eric Topol. And uh, Eric and I had uh, gotten along uh, smashingly well. Uh, we communicated offline privately. He put out a tweet that was very kind and how much he you know, appreciated uh, and respected me and so on. Uh, and then this other guy, a, another professor whom I'd never met, I've never interacted with, I'd never spoken to, started tagging Eric saying, how could you say nice things about this guy? How could you associate with this guy? And it originally stemmed from the following. I need you to really listen and pay attention to this. And the reason why I'm taking time to do this is not because the the fascist in question matters, but it's because what he represents actually matters greatly. Okay. And then I'll ask you to decide how each of you would like to intervene in this situation. Uh, I had at the start of my chat with Eric Topol, I had began by saying, and I will put actually uh, the clip that I had released last year in response to that guy's attempt to uh, feather and tar me by you know, killed by association, uh, in a very humble and self-deprecating way, at the start of my chat with Eric Topol, I said, you know, I went and checked your Google Scholar Citation Index, which is basically how many times someone has been cited. And, you know, your record is so amazing that uh, there goes my testosterone. So what I was basically saying is that, you know, he his record is so accomplished and so impressive that it affected my testosterone levels. It's it's a compliment to Eric. Now, I have no idea how anyone could, you know, not understand this or be offended by it. I am self-deprecating myself in front of a guest to say how, uh, you know, great their uh, scientific uh, citation record is. So this guy comes after me. How could you be going after? How could you say nice things about Gatsad? Let me mention who he is first so that you know. Uh, the guy's name is Lior Pachter or Pachter, P-A-C-H-T-E-R. He is a professor at Caltech. So imagine already how sinister it is, how childish it is, how juvenile. There is a professor, a fellow professor, who came on my show. We had a great conversation. He writes something very nice about me. This other guy says, how come you're talking to him? How come you're saying nice things about him? Look at the joke he said about testosterone. I'm offended, right? Already it shows you someone who is unstable, but okay, fine. Eric, instead of saying, are you insane, you schmuck? I love Gatsad. I'm going to double down with Gatsad. Eric, being the utter spineless castrato that he is, I have nothing but disdain for him, although I originally started by having great respect for him. Oh, I didn't know Gatsad was a bad guy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So then I write to Eric Topol and say, hey, Eric, you're better than this. He goes, no, 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 don't worry. I'm, I've am i found in you a friend for life. I admire you so much as a, I could, you know, all this. And then, of course, eventually he unfollows me. Now, Idiots here who are going to listen to this are going to say, oh, Gatsad is unhinged because Eric Topol unfollowed me. I couldn't tell Eric Topol in a police lineup if you showed me Eric Topol or an amoeba. So it's not whether Eric Topol follows me or not that it matters. What does matter to me is that someone could be so weak, so spineless. He's supposed to be a high, you know, highly cited scientist. I'm not sure when you're publishing 200 papers a year whether you've authored all the papers. But in any case, that's a story for another time. So, okay, I thought this guy was done. So today, just today, I posted a clip. I had a fantastic chat with Fyodor Urnov. Let's hope that he doesn't turn out to be a disappointment. A very mild-mannered, me, super accomplished scientist who then wrote to me both privately and publicly some very, very complimentary things. I won't share what they are because they're private but he certainly seemed to have the highest of regards for me. 
This guy, Lior, comes out of nowhere, okay? Because Fyodor, who came on my show, said something nice about me, this other professor who's never interacted with me starts tagging Fyodor. Why are you saying nice things about Gatsad? Why are you saying you should this, is, right? So, I mean, just think about this mindset, right? I mean, I sit, I write books, I publish many papers, I supervise students, I apply for grants, I appear in front of the media a million times, I'm very active on social media, I have young kids that I'm raising, I'm busy all day long. So imagine if you're sitting, and he doesn't follow me, this guy, you're sitting and you keep tracking whenever a professor says something nice about me, whom he knows, He'll unleash the cancel culture mob to say, don't associate with this guy. Is that a human being? But now let me explain to you the very important fundamental here, principle. The reflex to cancel those with whom we disagree is a default feature, regrettably, of human nature. For much of human history, we cancel others by imprisoning them, by silencing them, by killing them if we're rulers. Well, this Lior, what's his name? Let me see his name. He's at Caltech, by the way. This Lior Pashter can't cancel me. He can't come and physically kill me, right? But what he can do is in whatever small-minded way that he can, he's going to try to soil me. He's going to try to defame me. He's going to try to libel me I, and I, I have no idea why because right I mean I'm a fun guy I'm certainly an accomplished guy I certainly have the respect of thousands and thousands of professors all of whom write to me to say how much they respect me and all that I do so what is it that's causing you this ire is it that I speak my mind well apparently he thought that it was grotesque that I and he actually shared screenshots of my tweets being vile. The tweets were once when I was being sarcastic and mocking Ilhan Omar. Ilhan Omar, Jewish Lior Pashter, is angry at Lebanese Jew Gadsad for criticizing Ilhan Omar, you know, a politician. He was also unhappy with me criticizing Justin Trudeau. He was also unhappy with me criticizing Nancy Pelosi. So his reflex is, this guy is a unacceptable academic. He speaks his mind. He criticizes political candidates or politicians that we all support in academia. This is unacceptable. This is like my supposed personal friend, David Sloan Wilson, who's been to my house and my wife has cooked for him. We've no longer, we're no longer friends because David Sloan Wilson said that I had lost my humanity when I criticized Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama. He still respected me as a scientist, but I had lost my humanity because I criticized him. That's what happens with the reflex to silence. That's what's happening in academia. Now it's tough to cancel me. If you're going after someone with my profile in academia, imagine what Lior is doing to his undergraduate students, to his graduate students, to his postdocs, to the assistant professor without tenure. If Lior Pashter can come after someone in my position with the sense of righteous canceling, right? He doesn't like my that I associate with Fyodor Urnov. He tags Fyodor to say, why are you talking to Gatsad? He doesn't like that Eric Topol is associating with me. He starts tagging the e-mob. Why are you speaking to Gatsad? If this guy, if this genuinely grotesque creature can come after someone in my position of academic power, imagine the terror of his undergraduate students. You think some graduate student is going to say that he supported Donald Trump? Is this what we want of our professors, Caltech? So why am I so indignant? Why did he just literally ruin? Maybe he's happy, but good for you. 
I went out with my family today. It's Canadian Thanksgiving. I went out for a coffee when I saw my social media uh, stuff where he was trying to activate the e-mob after me. Why am I so indignant? Because I can't believe that this is happening in our societies. That a professor at Caltech feels sufficiently emboldened that he says, whenever Gatsad speaks to anybody who is in my professional circle, I will consistently tag them until they disassociate with Gatsad. This is probably something that I can legally pursue. But as a first step, I want this documented. I want you to all see it. And I want you to forget that it's me he's coming after. I want you to think about the 28-year-old postdoc who may have an inkling, an inkling of a political position that Lior Pashter doesn't agree with. It is unbelievable what we're seeing in academia. I receive thousands of emails from students and professors who don't have my personality, who don't have my insane honey badgeredness, who don't have my platform, who don't have the unique combination of personhood that makes me who I am. Guess what happens to them? They sit quietly while Lior says, if I ever see you do anything that I disagree with, you're out of the program. Your name is off my paper. You better toe the line, boy or girl. I, your boss, will not tolerate political dissension. This is not good, people. Lior Pashter, you are in my radar. There is no end to what I will go through to make this right. Congratulations, Lior.